can we really live a philosophy? I mean, a real textbook philosophy. So there is this couple, um, Hillary and Ruth Anna Putnam. They both died recently. They were both philosophers. And their last book is called Pragmatism, A Way of Life. And pragmatism is one of those textbook philosophies, the kind that you probably learned in a Philosophy 101 course in college. It's also considered the one truly American-born philosophy. Names like John Dewey and William James come to mind when you think of it. By reading the Putnam's book, I was not entirely convinced that I could leave pragmatism. However, I want to talk about another way, another very clear way that we can bring a core concept of pragmatism into our daily lives. And it doesn't come from philosophy, but from a psychotherapy called acceptance and commitment therapy. So let me first talk about the concept of truth in pragmatism. This is probably the most well-known feature of it. If you heard of pragmatism, you probably heard that truth is what works. That's an, that's an oversimplification, but it's a good enough simplification. And going back to acceptance and commitment therapy, we have in its most famous model, six basic psychological processes that we can train to be more psychological flexible. One of those processes is called diffusion or cognitive diffusion. And we can learn in a very concrete way to watch our thoughts and really decide to follow or not our thoughts based on their workability. So we can clearly watch our thoughts and decide if they are worth pursuing or not instead of just believing in them just because we're thinking of them. And for me, this concept of workability applied to our thoughts is the closest we can have of truly living a philosophy like pragmatism in our daily lives. And it gives us tremendous power. We can hold thoughts that are not useful for us, but we don't need to buy them. We can only buy and act upon thoughts that work for us. And that's pragmatism as a way of life.